you're right. It was, uh, you know, I don't think you could uh, predict that game coming into, uh, you know, this ballpark in this scenario with, you know, the way John Gray's been pitching and the way Zach Granke's been pitching and who Gran uh, Zach, Zach Granke is. Uh, but you're right. I mean, right away, you know, all hell broke loose. And, you know, from then on, it was a heavyweight fight, you know, going back and forth. Uh, you know, we <clears throat> we got close a couple times. Uh, you know, they stretched the lead. We came back, and uh, you know, obviously it was like you said, Barry. It was a, it was a crazy game. It was really, really something that I don't think any of us scripted. Buddy, in in regard to to John tonight, uh, we talked so much about the big moment for him tonight. Uh, what do you think happened besides? I'm um, obviously he gave up a yeah. hanging curveball to Paul to Goldschmidt. Goldschmidt yeah. But beyond that, he, he did seem a little, my opinion, a little mm -hmm. overwhelmed by the moment. Is that fair? Well, you know, I, I think it's probably a better question for John, Patrick. But you know, I know that uh, you know, my conversations with John today, and there were a couple of them, a couple short ones. Uh, he seemed fine. Uh, you know, I think Steve Foster uh, mentioned the same thing to me throughout the day. He and Darren, who were you know, very close with, with John, uh, you, know, you can maybe catch up with them as well. But I, did, you know, I thought John, you know, going into this game, was and I've said it many times was in a good spot physically and mentally, and I think today, uh, you know, he seemed fine. I think you know if you really dissect the inning, uh, you know, Peralta hit a pretty good slider. It looked like down, and he you know and he hit it through the middle. Uh, Marte, uh, you know, that pitch was up and in. It looked like a ball uh, at 97 miles an hour, and he sort of brought his hands in and got a base hit. And then the hanging breaking ball to Goldsmith. And this guy's an all star. He's one of the best players in the league. He's an MVP candidate. And he, you know, hit it out. So there's three nothing. Uh, you know, I, I think John, uh, you know, from a, from a pitching side, you look at, uh, you know, if you look at each pitch, the ball was up. You know, he didn't get many balls at the knees. The breaking balls weren't down. And when you do that, uh, you're, in, you're in jeopardy. And they took, you know, full advantage of that. You know, they did not take pitches. They did not miss them when they swung. Uh, you know, they squared up his mistakes. Uh, you know, he wasn't, uh, you know, we talk a lot about the ball strike ratio. It was great. I mean, he threw the ball in the strike zone, but not in good spots. So the location, uh, you know, today was, was, was not where it needs to be in this type of game against that type of lineup. So uh, again, it, it wasn't like he was, you know, nibbling. It wasn't like he was scared off. He wasn't. I mean, he went at him, but you know, he just didn't make good pitches. Were you surprised to see Robbie Ray at all? Or in this kind of elimination, do you have to just say we're going to win this game and worry you gotta, about the you next series? Be ready for everything. For, you got to be ready for anything. And I know that you know that's why he was you know on the roster uh, in case something like this happened. Uh, you know, it's it's hard to keep an All Star off a playoff roster. You know, in a in a game like this, I think it's, uh, you know, they, <clears throat> as far as keeping the, you know, just looking at their rosters, they kept the guys who have, you know, been there all year for them. So that did that did not surprise us at all. Hey, but in a game like this, in a moment like this, with so much on the line, <clears throat> you're standing on the top step. How do you keep? How do you sort of maintain your moment to moment focus when it feels like? Everything is going a little sideways. Well, what's your it, process? It, you know, even though it was, you know, it got a little skewed. You know, you got to keep, you got to keep, in, you got to keep competing. I mean, that's that's the thing from, you know, from the coaching perspective and, and the decision making process as it relates to the game. Uh, you have to keep competing and, and staying in the moment of what you need to do from from our end of, you know, player. Usage, uh, pitcher usage, how we're going to use our bench, and man, it, 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 you know, it started early. You know, it started in the first inning, and and how we're going to navigate our way through, you know, the rest of that game once we took John out, and that's that's both, you know, the pitching side, and the bench side, and uh, you know, the coaches did a great job of of getting players ready and, and involved and uh, you know being ready for anything. Rule number one: you got to be ready for anything, and you know, from our from from the get go, there it was. I mean, here's Olberg in the game, gets two big strikeouts to keep it at you know three to nothing. 
you know, we didn't plan on, on that, but uh, it presented itself. And then, you know, here we're, you know, we're pinch hitting Tapia, and he gets a base hit. And, and, and it just went that way, you know, throughout the game. So you have to, and actually, uh, I don't want to say it got easier, but as, as we climbed back into the game, it, it felt more like a game. It felt, it felt more like, uh, hey, you know, we're on to something. You know, we got a chance here uh, to win this game. When down 6 nothing and Granke's on the mound, ooh, that's, you know, long odds. But, I mean, here comes, here comes our guys fighting like hell, uh, you know, all throughout the game. And even in the ninth, you know, uh, you know, we kept going with a couple, you know, hard base hits. So, uh, you, you just keep competing, Timmy. That's what you do. Buddy, uh, Pat Neshek's been one of the best relievers in baseball before and after. He was an all-star this year. That's right. And look at look at his numbers. Look at what he look look at what he's done. Even the first inning he pitched tonight. Uh, but when you decided when when you went out there to have the talk, how much of that conversation can you share with us? Uh, not much. Uh, you know, it was you know we we knew that uh, you know Mathis was the you know the hitter that I went out there and said, hey, uh, you got Mathis, and then. It looked as though Bradley was going to hit, right? Because there was nobody warming up. So, you know, here's an all-star pitcher. This guy's had a remarkable year. Uh, you know, it just came down to, you know, a, you know, one of those, like Barry said earlier, a crazy moment where a, a relief pitcher got a hit off an all-star. I mean, who would have scripted that one? It's crazy. But you've seen the Diamondbacks like 20 times this year and the Dodgers 19. How do you size up that series? Well, it's going to be again. I think you know the Dodgers have had a you know phenomenal year. Uh, you know what they've done, especially you know in the middle part of the year, uh, that run that they went on. Uh, it's going to be a hard fought, you know, series. Just like this was a hard fought one game between two teams in one division. That's going to be the same thing. Uh, you know, both teams pitch well. You look at uh, the National League pitching statistics, and you look at uh, team pitching. It's uh, you know they're right there. Uh, I think the Nationals are right there as well. But, you know, Granke, Ray, Corbin, Walker, solid. Kershaw, Hill, Wood, uh, Darvish. I mean, that's good starting pitching. Both teams have good closers. Uh, both teams are, are formidable with the lineup. So it's, it's going to be a great series. Bud, uh, yes. Granke, Granke's been spectacular at home. Yeah, loud mic. Granky's been spectacular at home all season long. What was the key to that fourth inning, the patience to, to get to him and knock him well, out of that game? Well, you know, game? the first time through, you know, he really had, uh, you know, the ball down in the strike zone with the slider and the change. You know, had the change to the lefties, uh, got, got his outs, had the slider to the righties, got his outs. And then uh, in the fourth, you know, he got, he got the ball a little bit up, he got the ball a little bit up in the strike zone. And, uh, you, know, we, you know, Trev got a base hit sort of off the end of the bat. Uh, you know, but we just stayed on him. You know, we just stayed on him. And I think that, uh, again, you talk about how you get runs, you string hits together. And, and the guys who have been following our team all year, we've talked about, you know, when you're going good, you string hits together. And, you know, today's game, you, you look at the Diamondbacks, uh, you know, they strung hits together in the first inning for three runs. And then later in the game, uh, you know, they strung some hits together with, you know, even, even against Estevez and Holland. Uh, you know, they strung hits together to get the two runs in the eighth. So that's how you do it, and that's how we did it against Granke. We, you know, we tried to, uh, uh, you know, make him get the ball up in the zone. And, uh, you know, a lot of times uh, when you do that, he's got such good depth to his pitches. A lot of times it's a little harder than, uh, than you think. All right, one more. <clears throat> hey, buddy. In, a, in a world where we, we sort of like to compartmentalize everything and give everything a little number and all that stuff. Uh, at some point tonight, you're, you're standing on that top step watching a relief pitcher triple in two runs. And is, does it suggest to you that, that there's, uh, there's so much variance? I mean, you just can't prepare for everything. That's right. I mean, you can't. I mean, nobody would have thought that would, you know, would, would happen. But that's the beauty of our game when things like this happen. Uh, not for us, obviously, tonight how it happened, but you know the you know the the first question today from Barry was you know the craziness of of our game. That's what makes this game special. Uh, you know nobody could have predicted that. So uh, again, that's that's why this game is so great. Last one here, Patrick. 
Yeah, buddy, hard loss, crazy game, all those things. Right. But bottom line, uh, this season, your first season with the Rockies and this game, how proud are you of this team, the way you guys continue to battle back all season, but plus tonight? Yeah, well, you know, that's, you know, I, you know, I, I told that to the guys, uh, you know, how, you know, proud I am and the coaches, uh, you know, as well, and, uh, you know, all our staff of this season when, <clears throat> you know, nobody thought that we would be in this position. And, and we were. And we were, <clears throat> you know, as the game went on, we were right there, you know, a, you know, a few precious pitches and a, a hit or two from, you know, maybe climbing back ahead in that game. And it didn't happen. But this was a good year for uh, our group. A uh, lot of things transpired that I think will help us in the future. Uh, you know, our, you know, to, you know, the position players and the pitchers, I think, uh, you know, there's some boxes that were checked off for some guys that will hopefully help us uh, moving forward. But uh, our, our guys should be very proud of, you know, how they played, uh, their intent every night. Uh, you know, we've talked about our, our work ethic and uh, our determination uh, to, you know, get to where we want to be. And uh, it was extremely admirable by what our group did.